Designers often think about the look first and then they worry about manufacturing. What did Aptera get right from the beginning to avoid this? The respect for how it's going to be made and, uh, you know, in a really, a really perfect way, everybody from the beginning would understand how it's going to be made and then kind of work backwards to that. Now there's some limitations to that. And we had a breakthrough in this process with you can make it this way, but you can't make them really fast enough. Okay. And the fast enough equation comes from the overwhelming desire of those initial, you know, orders that, that went much higher than let's say that we kind of suspected or hoped for. And once you realize like we have to serve different time schedule that drove a lot of the methodology towards manufacturing. And then you bring in some outsiders, right? I think you know who I'm talking about. And mm -hmm. then you bring in, uh, we had another person come in as kind of a red team and said like, all right, let me look at what's going on and let me find the weak spots and let me go see what the alternatives are. So we ended up with this process of the SMC. It's not a new process, but again, it really wasn't available for us in 2006 timeframe, 2010, but it's really available for us now at the right price. So the cycle time of putting, of making those parts and then, and then putting it together, the vehicle had this long tail effect of like, everything will be starting from a high quality, highly engineered, visible, visible engineering, again, the value frame, let's call it, to put everything else on. So would you say this was the moment early on in the process where you realized if we don't solve this now, it's gonna cost us later? Or was this more something that you learned after you got the opportunity? It was about a third of the way in through this recent process from 2019, yeah. And, and now you, you, you have to work the other way and say, all right, if that's the process, what do we have to do to, how does that have any effect on the outside? Or, or on the on the inside. And in general, it didn't, but it just, it actually was better because you could really understand the core structure of the vehicle. And this is the body and carbon, right? This is the bait. The core structure of the vehicle of which everything is either put into, hung on, or connected to is such a marvel of design engineering and elegance. To me, it's the most beautiful part. And it's not, it wasn't, there's some aesthetic aspects that I had influence on, but it's really, that's not my, it's not the designer's job, unless you are working with the right engineers who understand, see an opportunity and then, and then collaborate with you on doing, doing something.